Hello. Good morning, friends. At Sam, I'm at Samuel's Public Library. It's Miss Patty here to say hello with Peter Rabbit. My theme this week is some favorites. So I have a couple of books that are special to me that I like and I think you will like. And of course, Peter Rabbit is an old time favorite forever and always, <laughs> even in all his naughtiness. Uh, he's quite the character and we have a lot of books about him. So my story today, the first one is about kitties and I think you like kittens like I do. And if you were born a kitten is the title by Marion Bauer. If you were born a kitten, if you were born a kitten, you'd slip into the world in a silvery sack and your mother would lick, lick, lick you free. Maybe you've had a chance to see a litter of kittens, all newborn and sweet. When they're first born, they don't even open their eyes for days, right? So, so sweet. If you were a baby seahorse, you'd pop out of your father's pouch and swim away with hundreds of sisters and brothers. How about that? The daddy seahorse has a big important job, doesn't he? If you were a chick, you'd peck and nap, peck and nap. You'd peep inside your shell. Then you'd kick with your big feet and burst out. Hello, world. If you go to Rural King, you get to see little peeps in all their cuteness. If you were a soft, new porcu pet, you'd say, mm -mm -mm. But your prickly porcupine mother would say nothing at all. So that is my word of the day. Who knew that baby porcupines were called porcupets? I love that. <laughs> if you were born a whale, you'd squeeze out slowly tail first. Then your mother would nudge you up, up, up for your first sip of air. There he is. It's a beautiful big blue whale. If you were a newborn opossum, you'd fit into a teaspoon. How tiny is that? With lots of brothers and sisters, your mother would lick you a path so you could climb to her pouch. And she gives them all grand piggyback rides. <laughs> if you were a baby snake, you'd have a tooth on your snout. See that there? To slash your leathery egg, you would say as you slithered away. If you were a bear cub, you'd come naked into a wintry den, but your sleeping mother would be furry and warm. Ah, and their eyes aren't even open yet either. If you were a baby deer mouse, your skin would be wrinkled and pink and so thin that the milk in your tummy would show through. There's a big word for that, translucent. So their skin is so thin, you can see through it. So tiny. If you were a brand new elephant, you'd wear a halo of long brown hair. Sometimes you might suck your trunk like a thumb. So baby elephants suck their trunk. <laughs> Who knew? And they're kind of fuzzy all over.
if you were a tadpole, you wouldn't look a bit like your mom and dad. Not yet anyway. Do you see that? It takes about 14 weeks or almost a little over three months for tadpoles to become a frog. Look like mom and dad. Of course, you're not a tadpole. You're not a snake or a porcupine or a whale. You're not a hairy baby elephant or a seahorse popping out of your father's pouch. And yet you were born too. You rode curled beneath your mother's heart, growing and growing. You floated in a salty sea, waiting and waiting, waiting for us who were waiting for you. We're ready, we said, and you were ready too. So you squeezed out, wailing. Naked as a bear cub, soft as a porcupine, wrinkled as a deer mouse, free as a kitten. Little you. The end. Isn't that a sweet story? Miss Patty learns all the time from the stories that we read. It's always fun to learn new things about the world. So this week, I had fun in our garden. Maybe you still have a few things in your garden, um, but you're welcome to come to the library. So this is with if you save your popsicle sticks and have a glue stick, and then just sort of, um, I used part of a um, pocket sleeve, safe protect, um, page protector, and just glued it on the back after I slid some things I thought were pretty from our garden, and I kind of mashed it with a book and glued it to the back. I think you could do that maybe with a little help from a parent or a big sibling, brother or sister. So, <clears throat> and if you come to the library, I have some kits like that for you to make. My next story is We're All Wonders by R.J. Policchio. And um, this has been a very special book. And there's a J fiction book about this. And then a movie was made of it. And I highly recommend the movie um, for some of you that are older, maybe. But this story is very special. You are a wonder. We are all wonders. We're all wonders. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike, I eat ice cream, and I play ball. I just don't look ordinary. I don't look like other kids. My mom says I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog Daisy agrees. But some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. 
Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. It hurts my feelings. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. When that happens, I put on my special helmet. I put Daisy's helmet on too. And then we blast off. Up, 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 up through the clouds. Across the galaxy. All the way to Pluto. <laughs> we say hello to old friends. From far away, the earth looks so small. I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people, people of all different colors, people who walk and talk differently, people who look different like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. I know you agree. I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. If they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. And they'll see that they're wonders too. We're all wonders. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. There's a lot to think about in that book, isn't there? Maybe you know somebody who looks a little different and you look for ways to be kind, maybe share your toys. And maybe there are times when you are sad that somebody hurts your feelings, but you use your imagination and your special friend to cheer your heart and help the day get better. So this is Miss Patty saying bye and thank you for joining me. And come on into our library and ask for help. I would love to help you find a special book just perfect for you. Have a good day, bye-bye.